GGM. This is, this is part two for today's news bulletins, Monday, July 9th, 2012. All right, so you just saw right there the video is titled, um, let's see here, Naked Zombie Ninja Attacks Three Cops on the Loose. Then we have Newt Carjacker Hurts Seven in Brutal Rampage. A drug-addled man shuts down town as he flips Porsche and breaks both legs of pregnant woman. It goes on here, it says a man... A carjacker wearing only his socks ran amok in Scottsdale, Arizona today, causing two terrific car collisions that injured several, or actually seven people, and shut down most of the city's roads during the rush hour. It says here, the first car crash was reported to the police at 1.30 p.m., after which the man is said to have left his vehicle, stripped naked, and carjacked a Toyota Prius, pulling the female passenger from the car. It says here, witnesses of photos of the destruction caused by the man show him standing triumphantly on the top of the SUV while debris from the smash litters the roadside. And more zombie news. I remember covering this before. Zombie theme park may be headed for Detroit. It's called Z World, a 200 acre zombie uh, theme park. It says don't expect roller coasters and cotton candy. It says here that Z World uh, is going to be put into basically a survival ride where people stay. Uh, at night and try to fend off zombies. It says here if players are caught during the night they would turn into zombies and go chase their friends. And I only include this again because I saw uh, another zombie thing. Sorry I'm just waiting for my internet here. Oh yeah just a quick uh, side note too um, while I'm waiting for my page to come up. My internet right now is one tenth of a megabyte and I'm paying for 12 to 14 so right now I mean I already got the first video done I just it was just too slow to even download so I decided to continue with the second video recording so if uh, you don't see them till like late tonight real late tonight or tomorrow that's probably why so that's if I get them uploaded at all okay anti-zombie strongholds for sale and then they have a picture of one uh, like these little moats around a lot of them so the rumor is the zombie apocalypse may have arrived sure the CDC denies it but what does the CDC know? Just to be on the safe side, it says here, Realtor.com put together a list of prime zombie defense real estate capable of putting those with an unquenchable thirst for human flesh at a distance from you and your family. This is from, that was Realtor.com. And you can even go on their website and find out about the uh, coming apocalypse, zombie apocalypse on the CDC's website and that. Columbia County Code Enforcement Officer Won't Face Charges it says here in South Carolina, a compliance officer won't face charges after he allegedly entered a woman's home without her permission. It goes on here and it says that um, it basically accused the officer of walking into her home announce, announcing last week to serve a violation for her grass being too long. Apparently, Vowell, the officer, knocked at her door to give her a violation for her grass being too long. After knocking several times, he entered her home, walked into her bedroom, and told her to get up. He's now on administrative leave until the investigation is complete. And I'm sure you guys remember this story. There was a lot of people that were like, oh, well, he was just in kicking her in the head because uh, she was attacking him, right? It says here, Rhode Island cops still employed despite conviction of kicking women to the head. So, and if any of you have I mean, I'm not into the whole UFC mixed martial arts thing, but I did get into uh, just basically like Jeet Kune Do, the Bruce's, like, Bruce Lee's martial arts style when I was like 14, early, like early teens basically. And I could tell that guy knows what he's doing. It was a low sidekick, and uh, he was not really in any threat or danger from this woman who was being detained, who was handcuffed, who was on the ground and subdued. Uh, but yeah, he basically did what? He claimed self-defense because apparently his life was... Uh, 
He was in fear of his life, so he was in imminent danger. Man facing jail for a hosting home Bible study. So it says a Phoenix man has been sentenced to 60 days in jail after he refused to stop hosting Bible studies in his privacy of his own home in violation of the city's building code laws. It says here, however, the Phoenix City Prosecutor's Office said the violation has nothing to do with religious freedom and everything to do with public safety. It all comes down to zoning and proper permitting, said Vicki Hill, the chief assistant of the prosecutor. Anytime you're holding a public gathering of people continuously, as he does, we have concerns about people being able to exit the facility properly in case there's a fire. That's really all it comes down to. Not just it, it's, it's not just me being some... Uh, you know, bureaucratic asshole about this, and I'm just doing my job, right? God, I mean, it's like, don't blame me. Just doing my job. NYPD arrest detains couple for 23 hours for dancing while waiting for the subway. So, yeah, that's right. It was a 55 and 54-year-old couple. It actually happened last July, but just coming up in a lawsuit now. Uh, allegedly dancing on the empty Columbus Circle subway platform in New York City after listening to a jazz at Lincoln Center. According to Fox News Insider, the couple was arrested for, oh, impeding the flow of traffic. Again, so the city cares so much about public safety because they were dancing while waiting on the subway to arrive shortly before midnight. Yeah, there's actually a law that you can't jump off a platform in front of a train because life has gotten so shitty for you. That's actually illegal, too. They'll take your dead body and they'll throw it behind bars and slice you for code violation. South Carolina mother billed for street cleaning vehicle removal after undocumented immigrant kills her son in a drunk driving incident. That's right. Loretta Robinson was billed for the towing and storage of her son's Justin's car. But it says here, as well as the street cleaning to clean up his blood, despite the fact that the man was the victim and not at fault. So, and this couple occupied NYPD's attention. A pair of Occupy Wall Street lovebirds have been branded professional agitators by the NYPD who have plastered their mugs and flyers, the couple says, look like wanted posters. And um, it goes on and says that what we do is not a crime. And when they actually went down to a, a meeting, a precinct council meeting, they said that they found a be on the watch poster on the wall, it says here. And they said that they were arrested uh, previously for civil disobedience and it was taped to the precinct podium. Quote, be aware of the above subjects are known professional agitators. It says, read the flyer warning cops that the subject's MO is videotape officers performing routine stops and post on YouTube. Subject, subject's purpose is to portray officers in a negative way. So, and uh, like I've said before, I don't think they need much help in doing that in that department. It says here, Air Force trains drone pilots by tracking civilians. So a group of reporters were actually allowed to go into the command post and they said it only took a few seconds to figure out exactly what we were looking at. They said, wait, you guys uh, practice tracking enemies by using civilian cars? And a reporter asked. And one Air Force officer responded that this was only a training mission. And then the group was quickly hustled out of the room. Next up, drone trade ad group adopts guidelines for flying in U.S. airspace. The industry's code of conduct seeks to address safety and privacy concerns arising from expected proliferation of unmanned drones in the nation's skies over the next few years. That's right, the Association for Unmanned Ve Vehicle Systems International in Virginia has published a code of conduct for the manufacturers and operators of these drones because they care so much about your safety and your privacy. DHS, Department of Homeland Security, taps database of license plate snapshots to hunt fugitives and legal immigrants. So 685 continually updated images of license plates gathered in a commercial database will soon be available to federal authorities. Nice. Then Jewish group grabs huge shares of grants. Almost all Homeland Security grants go to Jewish nonprofit groups. It says here, Jewish institutions throughout the U.S. will receive $9.7 million in federal anti-terrorism grants this year out of a total of $10 million allocated to not-for-profit institutions by the Department of Homeland Security. Janet Nabalitano, the Secretary of DHS, says, Unfortunately, there are risks attendant on the Jewish community that are not attendant on all other communities. Then a report says FBI hopes to launch IRIS scan database to track criminals. So first with fingerprints and DNA now database of iris scans are next on the biometric list for law enforcement agencies in the reference to track criminals a part of a one billion dollar upgrade for the fbi so they're working with a massachusetts based company and they aim to launch a pilot nationwide database of iris scans by 2014 
The FBI already has been provided with more than 12,000 iris images from current law enforcement agency clients. I like that. Clients. Most accurate robotic legs mimic human walking gait. A group of U.S. researchers have produced a robotic set of legs which they believe is the first to fully model walking in a biologically accurate manner. DARPA is seeking robots which approach the efficiency of human and animal actuation or movement. So see now they're <clears throat> clearing out their significant numbers of out-of-date robots to give them poli to police departments while spending millions of dollars of taxpayer funds we don't even have in order to continue to build newer and more human-like robots. While some of these advances could indeed be good, uh, like mind control robots for wheelchairs and the disabled, these positive applications are overshadowed by inherently militaristic nature of DARPA's work. These robots will be demonstrated at but not complete in the second DRC live competition scheduled for December 2014. Clone Horse is allowed to compete in the Olympics. Says it won't be long before uh, the basketball championship consists of an American squad of Michael Jordan clones squaring off. But it says here, reversing an early earlier ban, the international governing body for uh, sports has decided that clone horses can compete alongside their traditionally bred counterparts. So I guess that'll be good for all uh, the recent bad publicity that they've had with all those horses just dropping dead. Maybe those were already clones. Maybe they were testing them. Who knows? It says here, free trade ruling could nix county of origin labels on meat. So what does that mean? Basically, you're not going to know where your meat comes from because of free trade in the WTO. So if you want to know where your meat comes from, you won't be happy with the World Trade Organization right now. So last week, they announced that the U.S. Uh, country of origin labels, which took effect in 08, discriminate unfairly against foreign meat suppliers such as Mexico and Canada, followed by Monsanto's uh, launch of a massive campaign to stop GMO labeling. It hasn't been long since the FDA deleted 1 million signatures and comments for the Just Label It campaign calling for the labeling of GM foods after 55 politicians offered support for the initiative. If you're overweight, you should know that there's a vaccine for that. So here a new crop of bogus vaccines are claiming to promote weight loss. New study it says here that the Journal of Animal Science and Biotechnology is promoting the claimed benefits of two vaccines which chemically and artificially inhibit the action of natural hormones. And the worst uh, TB outbreak, tuberculosis in 20 years, has been kept secret. The state rushes closure of its only TB hospital in the area. They wasted away before ever getting treatment or were too far gone by the time it began. Most of the sick were poor black men, it says. They say the homeless, the drug addicted, mentally ill people in jails and that are at the core of the Jacksonville TB cluster. According to the most recent data of the Florida uh, Health Department, 260 cases of whooping cough have been reported throughout the state as, the, as of end of June, so again in Florida. That's then from the United Nations Secretary General, no customs, cultural values, religious beliefs can justify denial of human rights. Violence and discrimination against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people is a human rights violation. And the people of the United States have a moral duty and legal obligation to address it. Women can now delay menopause indefinitely with ovary transplant or the women could have it all crowd could figure out that they're on a hamster wheel designed by vampire states to extract taxes from them while their children suffer the consequences from the editor. A technique to remove pieces of the ovary stored for decades and then replace it with delicate surgery could effectively put a woman's menopause on ice. Dr. My Three Daddies, California Eyes, multiple parenting law. They, they cite the evolving American family, which includes surrogacy and arrangements and same-sex marriages. A New York official suggests law change that their Jewish circumcision is tied to infant herpes and death because the priest has to orally suck blood from the wound.